Sawadi Cup and welcome to Tiger Today with thanks to Thai Visa and The Nation. Well here we are in a nice little coffee shop in the middle of old Katu town, complete with a, a little bit of traditional Thai music and a lot of passing traffic. But we're going to start by talking about Songkran today. Songkran's on the way about uh, three weeks and the Thai police have already said that they're going to clamp down on water splashing, the traditional throwing of water, uh, well, not so much traditional, but the way it's sort of become over the years, on all primary and secondary roads. Now, there'd be a lot of what we would call secondary roads where we've known for years that people have been uh, throwing water and enjoying a, a fine time on April the 13th every year. Now taking away the secondary roads and maybe understand the primary roads around the country but it's going to really change the whole way that people do this on Kran and the uh, the places that they do do the water splashing. Just a great big bus going past there. So how is it going to change your song crime? Do you actually go out and enjoy song crime each year? Do the throwing of water or do you lock yourself away in your home? Uh, besides that, the police are also saying that they're going to be really clamping down on things like drink driving, speeding and driving around without a helmet during the traditional seven days of danger, the most dangerous time on Thai roads. All right, so let's go to today's other main news stories. At least 16 people have been killed and more than 30 others injured in a collision between a tour bus and an 18-wheel truck on the Nakon Ratchasima Kabanburi Road in Nakon Ratchasima last night. Initial reports from rescue workers say the double-decker was carrying about 50 passengers for a sightseeing trip in Chantaburi and was heading back home to Kalasin. They say it appears that the bus driver was coming downhill, lost control of the bus, causing it to jump over a lane into the opposite lane and collided with the trailer truck coming from the other direction. The coach had 50 passengers on board. The rescue workers got 16 bodies out of the wrecked bus and rushed 34 injured persons to hospital. The fatalities include 10 men and 6 women. And in more traffic carnage, a water truck has careered off the notorious Patong Hill this morning, killing one and leaving another in a critical condition. Witnesses say it looked like the truck lost control as it was making its way up Patong Hill when it smashed through the roadside barriers and fell down the hill. Traffic was banked back three kilometres following the incident. An Austrian man has died after drowning on Pattaya Beach. The 64-year-old man was pulled from the water opposite Soy 10. Rescue workers gave the man CPR. He was transferred to Pattaya Memorial Hospital but was later pronounced dead. A young British man has suffered life-changing injuries and is in a serious condition in hospital following a motorbike accident in Kanchanaburi. Harry Cross was travelling to the immigration office to extend his tourist visa when his bike collided with a sugarcane truck that pulled out in front of him. Harry was rushed into surgery. Doctors were unable to save his leg and it was amputated above the knee. He remains in ICU. He didn't have health insurance. The National Anti-Corruption Commission says General Prawit Wongsawan has submitted his fourth 38-page letter clarifying his pricey wristwatches. They say they're also looking into the possibility of inviting General Prawit to meet the board in person. The two men who attacked a foreigner outside Linda Beer Bar in Walking Street, Pattaya, have been fined 2,500 baht. Pattaya police moved swiftly to arrest the 35- and 38-year-old CD sellers in Walking Street. The two men say the unidentified foreign man started the fight, even though they admitted assault and going over the top due to anger. And police are investigating the second tour bus crash in Pangna in just two days. Yesterday's crash was between a truck and a tour bus. The tour bus was carrying seven Swedish tourists. Three were injured and taken to hospital. So that's all the main news stories from around Thailand today. By the way, if you are passing by old Katsu town, we're right near the Chinese shrine. Very good coffee. Good coffee? Yeah. Very good coffee. There you go. All right, with thanks to Thai Visa Property, we'll see you again with another Tiger today, tomorrow.